Sports team coverage tonight with WVUA News. We start with reporter Tori Dunnan, who joins us now live from Boston with more on where the investigation began. More tonight on that breaking news out of Coker involving the robbery at a Dollar General there. Yeah, we just got video back to our newsroom, and according to Lieutenant Andy Norris with the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office, deputies are searching for three masked black males who robbed that Dollar General off Highway 82. Investigators are currently on the scene searching for clues. They say if you have any information, you're asked to call Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office. That number is 205 752 And of course, we'll have more information tomorrow as it becomes available. Begin in Greene County, where the trial in the case against the former Greene County Circuit Clerk is now underway. WVUA's Jennifer Edwards was there and joins us now with more. Jennifer. Voters head to the polls tomorrow for the Tuscaloosa City Municipal Elections. Residents will choose who they want to represent them on the City Council and City School Board. Tuscaloosa City Clerk Tracy Kroom told WVUA she does not anticipate much wait time at the polls. Kroom says they plan to head for a big turnout in the school board elections. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. I'm Daniel Sparkman. Janie Wallace is on assignment. It's election day in Tuscaloosa and right now voters are deciding on several city council and school board races across the city. We have team coverage tonight for you. WVUA's Jennifer Edwards is here in the studio and we have a team of reporters out in the field tonight. And we're going to start with the latest on election day voting from city clerk Tracy Kroom who told us earlier today as of 3 o'clock 5,747 voters had cast their ballot. That's approximately 11% of the voters in the city. Good evening to you. We are live here at Full Moon Barbecue, just one of the many places here along 15th Street and McFarland Boulevard that was destroyed on April 27th. But first, let's talk about that devastation. On April 27th, most of the buildings along this intersection of McFarland and 15th Street were destroyed by that devastating EF4 tornado. That includes Krispy Kreme, CVS, the Full Moon Barbecue, and the Wood Square Shopping Center. Also, all of the homes in the Cedar Crest neighborhood just adjacent to where this full moon is located. Now, several people also lost their lives in this area. Now, today there is a revitalization going on. Full Moon, Krispy Kreme, and CVS have all rebuilt and reopened. There aren't any homes here, but a new housing development is going up in place of the old Wood Square Shopping Center, and there's still more development going on here as well. A number of other businesses and housing developments are going up right now as well. Now the Walker County Com community of Cordova is one of the area's hardest hit on April 27th. It's downtown was heavily damaged and today marks a significant step in that city's revitalization. WVUA's Travis Leader joins us now. He was there today and has more on what's going on in that community. We're talking about SEC Media Days. The head coach and three players from each SEC football team has descended on Birmingham this week and the media frenzy followed him as well. Your home team has complete team coverage live from Hoover and that's where WVUA's Travis Leader is and he joins us now live. Travis. Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott joins us now. Richard, I'm going to say it was almost summertime out there today. Yeah, it felt a lot like summer on this one. Tuscaloosa was not alone. Washington, D.C. is a spectacular place to celebrate July 4th. The National Mall with Washington, D.C.'s monuments and the U.S. Capitol in the background forms a beautiful and patriotic backdrop to America's Independence Day celebrations. Today's events in the nation's capital began with a parade along Constitution Avenue, ending with a spectacular display of fireworks over the Washington Monument. You can just feel the electricity. You can tell yeah. the rivalry uh, game is just hours away. Yeah, even some Tennessee fans walking around today. But, mm -hmm. you know, the traditions really are endless between the Tide and the Vols and lots of things that we each do every year when we play each other. The teams face off tomorrow for another great SEC matchup. And as many analysts will say, you know, games in the SEC never are a sure thing. I mean, we had a close one back in 2009 and had to block a couple of field goals. The Alabama Crimson Tide football team has won the last six games in the series, though, and they're looking to continue that streak tomorrow. And, you know, we caught up with a family who says the rivalry divides their family, especially during this week. Is it like a little down in the dumps? Are you down in the dumps? Well, I'm kind of over it now. I'm okay. just ready to move Me on. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> All on the field, right? It Living is. Living on the field. That's right. But what should players and fans do in order to bounce back after a heartbreaking finish? WVUA's Travis Leader spoke with someone familiar with the mental aspect of winning and losing. How should players and fans alike handle the aftermath, Travis? 
<laughs> a University of Alabama telecommunication and film production class is shooting a zombie comedy pilot. The pilot titled Zomcom will tell the story of a group of zombie chasers who are working with various corporations to tag and study zombies. Students will have a chance to use their audio and visual skills, but also will learn about things like special effects makeup and social media campaigns for promotion. According to the university, the pilot will be entered into several festivals around the nation. And it's always interesting when they're around here shooting it and you don't expect them to be and you walk down the hall and there's zombies in the hallway. I know. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's zombies. Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. just a huge hit right now. Yeah. The, the Walking Dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All those yeah. shows. That looked like a lot of fun though. Oh, sure. Yeah. And I wish them luck in all their competitions. That's yeah. right. We do.